Hey, Manny Bash. It's the 7th of March, 2019, and I am uh, just going to share with you kind of a wacky little ride. Uh, just the things that I see over the course of these last few days that, you know, I just want to share with people. But it's getting to where, number one, I don't really care to look at it much anymore. It's like, you know, repulsive to me. Um, but nonetheless, uh, start here, I guess. Russia plans to cut itself off from the Internet. This is from last month, um, but it's uh, there's some more current stuff going on about it. But that's what they plan on doing is, is segregating themselves from the World Wide Web uh, just because they think they might be cut off by someone else. You know, it's like a an offensive defensive kind of measure that they're taking but that's a big deal to segregate yourself from the entire world wide web so so that's going on but that led me to look into the web a little bit and it turns out that uh it's the web's 30th birthday and it is an out of control monster according to this yahoo article the web's turning 30 and the history of the web is really interesting, and it, and it led me to here where, you know, it tells us how the web is managed now. But did you know that the web uh, in its creation was created at CERN? Uh, a lot of people already know that, but that's where the web basically came from. And they put it out into open source for anybody to use, and now it's basically, like, for from what I understand, it's managed by this World Wide Web Consortium, the W3C. And, you know, I see this logo here, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Right on its face, the W3C. Well, the other day, remember I showed you W can be a 23. It can also be a double V or a double U, because that's what it represents. That you are a double U. 23 and 23 you see what i mean and w happens to be the 23rd letter of the english alphabet so you're essentially looking at a whole combination of different things in this logo 2333 the c is a three third letter in the alphabet so 33 2333 you can do all kinds of things with it but what's really crazy after all of that is that if you take it and turn it upside down, it becomes a 9-11. And you have, of course, the, the two inverted Vs. And this C, which is supposed to be a C, uh, looks incredibly uh, much like a scorpion stinger to me. Like the one uh, that they have on Mars <laughs> that I showed a while back in a video. It's crazy. 9-11 uh, when you turn it upside down. And again, there's other things. There's always more to this stuff. It, it's never ending because it, everything around us is saturated in it because this is the devil's playground. This is where he's been doing all his work for millennia. You know what I mean? So that is coming into play because why would Russia be cutting itself off from the net? You see what I mean? This is the beast system that will be, you know, this will be like the, the uh, infrastructure for it through the web. But cutting themselves off isn't going to do it because it's all like terrestrial. Unless they put up, <laughs> unless they put a firmament over their country to block the wavelengths and various uh, weapons that use frequency, uh, they're not going to be able to segregate themselves from anything. Because this is what's coming on the earth. So I just spent, what, five minutes talking about just that. And I'll leave a bunch of links. But that's going on with the internet. We'll move down the line here. What's this? Oh, this is really great. The, the age of the autosexual. Now, just like the 23, the other day when we kept the W's, the, the three fathers, it still it applies to us as well. Because we are the 46 chromosomes, this is just the way it, it is is given to me, and it's easy to understand, you know. 
because you got 23 from mom, 23 from dad. And But when spiritually you come to know Christ and you accept him as your savior and believe on him and what he did, you indwell his Holy Spirit and you literally become a new creature. So 23, the good you, because 23 represents a good you and 23 represents a bad you. The good you in Christ becomes separate. You're like a new creature. So you are set apart. You are no longer uh, walking in this world blind. Okay, You are in it, but you're not of it. Now, these people, they don't know God. They know the world. It, and essentially, what this is illustrating is the hive. She's kissing herself in a mirror. She's opposed to herself, but yet proclaims to love herself. But there's a very, very ugly end to this whole scenario because people are not understanding that they have that war going on inside them. That's why they turn to loving themselves. But they're really just becoming part of Satan's hive. Just become food to the devil. So, I mean, that's just crazy off the charts. And I guess it's becoming quite popular to love oneself sexually. This is all just coming to fruition. Everything's happening. If you don't know Christ, you got to get to know him now. Then we had this tornado. This is interesting because I saw it the day it happened and it was, I was just like, wow, that's, that's just not normal for one. And the way it all played out, it, it, the reporting on it and everything was just rubbing me the wrong way. You know, and sure enough, in the end, 23 perish in this incident. 23. And three of those were children. 23. 3 is 69. See what I'm saying? Satan's chains of darkness, right? The 23 and 3. 23, 46, 69. And it's even posted at 246. So all these things are rolling in front of me all week long. I'm like, oh, wow, what's this mean? I think it's the separation. It's just, it's telling us that God is doing his mighty work. And, you know, we're to keep doing what we're doing in his name and but it's coming very close to where this separation is going to occur the sheep the goats the wheat the tares the wise the foolish however you perceive this but the separation is upon us okay 23 46 69 and this tornado just like spelled it out perfectly i was blown away when i saw that what's the next one here oh this is wonderful this is just something you'll all love Israeli's moon mission spacecraft sent back a selfie. Now they're sending selfies because I guess that's what the world wants. I don't know. But this thing just on its face is just so comically bad. And I got to show you some things that to me just tell the whole story. But, you know, I see through the glass darkly. But you could read this and see that it's just riddled with... The numbers don't lie, really. It was taken 23,363 miles from the Earth. They managed to uh, erect a billboard on it. Uh, I guess somewhere along the line that thing was installed. And then they have this disc back here. They call it the Earth. And, it, and it's got like this line here. Blatant line. I mean, this is just crazy, guys. I could just sit here and pick on the image all day. But what do you think that is? I mean, seriously. Are you serious? And then the Earth itself, they say, oh, you can see Australia, but you don't see anything else. If that's Australia, we should see some kind of Antarctica or another landmass. But I digress on that because this is a joke on its face. This whole thing is just so pathetically bad at this point. What I was led to do and I might have to do another video on this because some of these numbers that you bring them into scripture and it's just off the charts what they're doing through this article. What they're saying here is they're proclaiming their kingdom, basically. It's like they are going to the hosts and proclaiming their place among the hosts of heaven, in a sense, and, and claiming their reign. 
it's it's very deep and I really do hope to get to a video about it because it's just showing the sign of the times we are so near this world abruptly changing and you want to be in Christ when it does that's all I know and so when I show you this you're just gonna be like what the heck is going on here because I'm looking at this I'm seeing the 23 the 23 the separation the sheep the goats the hosts of heaven oh and incidentally notice there are no stars in space from the Israeli moon lander either that's interesting so the earth's on a string essentially this this round disc right with no stars in space but look what happens when you flip this thing upside down and this is one of those things you guys you either see it or you don't but if you don't it doesn't mean you don't see it's because they do these things very distorted but it's there the goat in this image when you turn it upside down the world becomes a goat this is the bottom jar of it right here and this is like its mouth there's its nose right there the snout of it you know and there's one eye there's the other eye the top of its head it's a he goat right there and it's got the uh, billy goat beard as well all down here under its jaw its bottom jaw I don't have the tools to draw it in for you all I can do is point it out to you the best I can and hope that you see it and it's not this imperative thing but to me it is everything because it it fits perfectly and exactly into everything else that I'm being shown all of it everything plays into this and you know it comes into my spirit to say hey this is saying something this whole Israeli moonlander thing is a giant ritual it's like a mockery by Satan straight up because you can't go to this place <laughs> you can't do it and the Jews of all people should know their Bible and where they live and they do they're just lying to you because they're of their father and he's the father of lies so what would you expect from them that's what they do so I had to share that with you seriously I'll even leave a link that'll bring you directly to this image so that you can look at it for yourself on its face it's just phony as all can be but when you flip it upside down there's a goat it covers the whole earth which matches exactly to Daniel 8 which freaked me out when I saw this when the uh, the goat waxed very great when the horn was broken and I saw as considering a he goat came from the west on the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground <laughs> on the face of the whole earth I don't know you guys I just know you need Jesus Christ become a new creature Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 